Hello everybody and welcome to um sorry this um new um video and sorry this is going to be really fun today. Um so as you can see we're doing getting over it and I think you you have noticed already that we are doing remixing today. So, if you don't know what remixing is, it's just basically taking a project and then changing some things to make it your own. But this is only a feature that um, scratches that have an account can do so. Uh, if you don't have an account, then you should go and start um, like log in now so so you can have all the f fun with doing remixing and lots of other cool things too anyways let's get started so what we what we want to do basically is search for um griff is getting over it project okay and just wait until the remix button turns a green color and then press that and then we go so in my original project that was actually music but you couldn't hear it because like the audio wouldn't work but yeah there was music i'll tell you how to do that at the end so like the player was a different color wasn't it so if we go to the player's costume so we could just um change the pot to make it look nicer i'm going to choose green and i'm going to choose blue like that and that looks a bit better um there we go and then we want the other parts to like change color so we just add a forever loop and then change color now this won't really work at the moment as you can see it is going way too fast and have you noticed that the other arm is not changing color well that's because griff patch used the a clone for another one so duplicate this and then change it to a when i start as a clone okay and then what we have oh don't mind this list over there and then we have both of them changing color good uh, if you like this very fast color change um then you can keep it as 25 but for me i'd rather prefer to do a smaller number but for this tutorial let's get moving on so the next thing we want to do is do it in the hammer and head and player spot so bring it into all of them and, and then uh, it should look fine and now i did some experimenting and it didn't look as though the player sprite actually changed colour but that is kind of fine for me but if you want it to change colour then um, really that's up to you oh wow look at this it's so amazing isn't it now in my original project 
Yes, in my original project, um, there were a few level changes. So, this may be hard to find, but if you find the right costumes in the level, you can like modify them to make your own. <laughs> like, I, I remove these jelly thing things in the watermelon chimney thing. Ah! Yeah, so I remove them. So let's find the correct costume for it. Okay, so if we look, we got to look out for that costume we were just looking at. So that was definitely before furniture. Well, it's not furniture now, obviously. But is it here? I guess it isn't. Yes, it definitely isn't here. I don't know. Let's make some different level changes then. Okay, we can remove this. And we can remove this. I'm really thinking of challenging the player now. Yep. And we can remove this. Bit more, maybe. There we go. And what else? We can remove this and this. There we go. Perfect. So now, with our level changes, this should be um, very fun. Let's just out. And also, in Goose Patch's videos, have you seen him like flying around? Um, like, have you seen the player sprite flying around? Well, and um, have you tried every key to fly? Well, uh, the thing is, but I got a secret for you. Are you ready? I bet you are. Go to the player sprite and then search in the find bar if you have it. Tech player and look at this. Username equals Griff Patch. Now this is really neat. So we could remove that and then just put this one in there. And there we go. And now we can fly. Yeah, we can fly. Yes. So this is a good feature for newer players. Especially my mum because like she really struggles in getting over it. And you can do chimney skips. How amazing is that? Wow! Okay, now we need the level to change colour. So, put one of your change colour script into the level. And then, when I receive new game, put that under there. And now... Level Ooh, some of it is. Oh, I see. Yeah, this makes sense. Yes, it's another clone issue. Some of these levels are clones, uh, which means that um, some change colour, but some do not. I totally understand this. This is not our bug. I know what's causing this. We can easily fix this. 
I know what we have to do. Yay! And now that should be fixed. So if we oh, get the cable, there we go. Is that better? Of course it is. Now we want the background to change colour. Well, there are so many things changing colour. Okay. So, and duplicate one of these into the background sprite. Into here. And change colour by peak random. 15 to 30 and same with the clones same with the clones sorry same with the clones like that. and now we are really building up now okay this is unusual This has happened. Yeah, this has not happened. Let's see. Uh, let me move that. Right. Um, okay, we won't do this for now. I guess we will do it later. But now, the timer should change colour. <laughs> should it turn? The timer should change colour. And why did I split it off? Okay, there we go. Put it in the timer. There we go. <sighs> Where's the one that received new level? There's no one that received new level. Okay. Oh, when to flag click. That's perfect, isn't it? And also, when I start as a clone, that is the same. No, I haven't done this with my original one. But, wouldn't it be nice to have a different, like, you know, this, like, wallpaper? I think we could have a thumbnail. Yes, don't you think? So this is very easy. So you just take like a level piece. I'll choose this one. Okay. Convert it to the original mode, vector mode, and duplicate it into the splash sprite. And then delete this. And then duplicate what you've just added. And then we duplicate the head and the other parts of the body to make it, to put it into the level sprite. So, mine might not be accurate, but this is, oh, nope, that's not what we want, we want the player spy. I actually did um, control C and control V in this, I only need to do control V. Okay, is this good? Yeah, that looks good. okay. Okay. I think I'll duplicate these. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Now let's zoom in. 
scroll up and we go back door. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not now. Yay. Maybe not now. Wait. Hmm? Huh? I didn't get it. Okay. Let's just do this. Oh no! What's that? I'm not really used to this thing. Whoa! How many? Are, how many are here? We only. Oops. Ooh, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's lucky that we can just like click them and then these dots delete them. Okay. Okay, I have to do this now. I have to delete these and then start again. Okay. Control V. There we go. And then the hammer finally. There we go. Uh, I'll fancy it a little bit smaller. There we go. There we go. Now what we have is, oh, oh, okay, oh. we can fix this later, but well, this looks really cool. Now, what we want to do, what we really want to do now, is to make everything change colour. So, how to do that? Well, just copy your scripts from the other sprites and then put them into uh, the sprites that you fancy to change colour. That's really all there is to it. So, yeah, I kind of made, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, no, this is this is very fast changing colour. But if you like it then you can keep it. But if you don't like it, you can change it. This game is yours, really. Yeah, this game is just yours, really. Okay, I'm not really this slow at the game. It's just that I'm just trying to show you what is happening. Okay. So. Comments. Wait, what? There are comments. Oh. Okay. Oh. I don't need that. Oh, I think it was just like for testing, I think. Yeah. Okay. And now we have... Ooh, yeah. Yep. 
so we don't have the comment changing color. Okay, we can fix that. We can add a what I start slowly one. So like everything seems to be working as normal. And also, if I share this project, don't put it on a new player. Because like they will find this Hey, hello. Yeah, they will find this tricky. So yeah. What the Oh Okay. Yes, yeah, they will find this tricky. Find suggest you to not do that. Have I actually worked on the actual level sprite? Okay, I haven't but yeah. Okay, so when I start as a clone. I wish um, everyone could use less rather than clones because I think that's way better. Oh. Yeah, there we go. So, that's all there is for now. I don't think I will be sharing this for obvious reasons. But I think I will be sharing some of my other projects. You can um, look at me on Scratch. Um, uh, my username, yeah. It's up here. Take a little time to read it. Okay. My um, logo is just a default one. So yeah. But it was nice having you. Bye-bye.